Again, we were able to play a profession that had previously been featured in the beta test, and this time it is the Untamed. The ranger profession that was initially, well, not so well received. It harks back to the Bunny Thumper from Guild Wars 1, which was a combination of a ranger and warrior. On the surface, I actually had a really good time. Now, a ranger being in melee isn't that uncommon with how OP the Great Sword is, but let me just say, I felt fantastic in PvP. The durability that was offered by the build as well as the damage from being unleashed in that mechanic, it was just amazing. Now it's not to say that I couldn't die or I was going around one-shotting people, but I felt like I could hang in long enough to really do some damage without overtly pressing too many buttons. And granted, with this, I'm completely new to the profession, so I'm sure that as people play it and understand it better, that longevity is definitely going to pay out. Perilous Gift was a great feature as well, preventing you from dying and healing a portion of your missing HP. It saved me in more situations than I'd like to admit, although it does wreck your pet. Like, literally. The elite ability, Forest's Fortification, was perfect when you were trying to hold a spot in Conquest or just survive in a larger team fight and just not die. I mean, it was, it was perfect. I will admit, I felt super strong going into Fractals and actually dealing some damage and absolutely getting demolished by Agony because I have no resistance, but nonetheless, felt great. The mobility balance between Hammer 5 and Sword 3 helped in a number of situations to quickly move and quickly deal damage, albeit the suffering side effect is that of the wonky pet AI, but I think a lot of people have mentioned that before. If you're not paying attention, your dog's off playing cards with other dogs. I will say I'm glad to see them put some of the original pet AI back onto the action bar, because man, that was a big downer from the first Untamed beta. Also, big shout out to the group I was in. They saved me more than once and still decided to support the channel. Woo! Honestly, more of the same coming from Fractals in PvP. When I was out and about doing things, I felt pretty tanky, but by disabling and slowing enemies, I was able to ramp up my damage for some pretty decent combos. Also, I just went to Maguma to beat the hell out of some beetles and frogs because, well, nature. I was thoroughly surprised with how well the Untamed played. Just amazed at how it felt in combat and balancing with my pet. Now, I will say that I have a max level ranger, but I have not played Soul Beast, so I cannot offer a comparison for you guys. But if the Untamed has any of the flow in the feel that I had during this playthrough, I am very intrigued. Overall, I felt strong no matter where I was in combat, with the number of defenses as well as being able to switch to Unleash for some serious damage with a combo or two. It felt great and powerful. I mean, what more could you want? It suffers still a bit from wonky pet AI, and also the unleashed ability for your pet literally is the same no matter which type of pet you had. It, it, it felt kind of lackluster, a little bit lazy, but I wouldn't say that it makes or breaks the profession. Have you played the Untamed? What are your thoughts? If you want to see a fun, overly edited trailer I made for the Untamed, click here. As always, I am the Caffeinated Dad, and I will see you guys around.